Can someone call the floor? I need to speak to the head manager in charge because there's some weird poker player sitting right next to me who refuses to take off his helmet for some reason. I mean, the guy literally smells like gasoline, regret, and bad decisions. And at this point of the night, I'm sick of sitting right next to the first man to ever land on the moon. I mean, just look at how the man has to drink his coke. He's literally sipping it through a straw through the bottom of his helmet. He's acting like he's not allowed to take it off or something. Sir, just take off your helmet. Now, okay, okay. I realize that some of you might be new to my channel and have no clue what's going on. So let me give you guys some brief context. We're gonna play one session, five hours, no, not a second over, and then whoever profits the least has to look like this at the poker table. <laughs> whoever profits the least has to be in full motorcycle gear at the poker table the very next session. So that is a profit of negative what? <laughs> negative, uh, I don't know, I'm thousand nine. It's right here. I don't even wanna, I don't even wanna it's say right it. It's right here. I don't even, I'm thousand nine. I was in for 500, out for 881. So that is a profit of this, this amount. Disappointing. Which is more than the negative amount y'all just saw. So that means that Scotty boy lost the bet. <laughs> Look who it is. The man everybody been waiting on. <laughs> you like your uniform? Yeah, man. Hey, I apologize to y'all so much, man, that I don't have him in full gear for this next vlog. You thought bro. that was possible? That's my bad. You thought that was I, possible? I just want to say sorry to all Let's the, check out the fans, fit. Let's man. check out the fit. Let's check out the fit. Okay, so we got the helmet. We got the jacket. Let me see. Glove check. Glove check. Okay, you cut I, off the fingers. That's smart. I go with fingerless, That's man. smart. That's smart. Pants check. Pants check. Oh, them nice pants, bro. Nice pants. Boost check. Boost check. Oh, he got the boost too. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, quick intro for today. Me and my boy, Scotty. Plug your channel. Scotty Gambles. Scotty underscore Gambles. Scotty Gambles. If you guys saw the last episode, then you saw that Scotty lost the bet. We're men of our word. We so, are. So, we Scotty are. lost the bet. So, Scotty paying up. So we got a five hour session coming up, full gear. It's gonna be hilarious. Y'all don't wanna miss this. We have no bet riding on this, uh, who wins or who loses. Um, this is just, we're gonna see how, he, see how he holds up after five hours. I'm gonna try to get my get back tonight. He gonna try, I'm, he, I'm gonna hey, try. he can still stack me and get I his get not, back that way. I might not get out there, but I'm gonna get someone. He gonna get somebody. Gonna get someone. All right, let's go. <laughs> There we go, <laughs> the man with the plan. You gonna buy in or what? Hey, I want, I'm getting to C4 on Valdez Web. You gonna buy in I'm or what? Valdez Web. I'm getting in. Uh, yeah, yeah, I want you in the camera, yeah, trust yeah, me. Yeah, I'm getting him buying. That boy buying in. Give me five, give me five. Give him five. Right. Wow. AJ, take care of the good man. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> oh, that boy locked in. He got a poker face, though. Yeah, I can laugh and shit. You can't see it. I've seen Coming into the first interesting hand of the night, where we look down at Ace Queen of Diamonds in the small blind. The action gets limp to middle position, and he raises it up to $15. One player calls, and when he gets to the button, he decides to 3-bet to $54. Now here in the small blind with ace-queen suited, you can call or 4-bet, but in this situation, I decide to just call the $54. Two other players make the call, and we go four ways to a flop. <laughs> The flop comes king, nine, seven, rainbow, and the action gets checked all the way around. Let's see a turn. Now the turn is a nine of diamonds, and I pick up equity with a turn flush draw and a over. Let's see if I can take this one down with a $60 bet. Of course I can't. Two players make the call, and we go three ways to a river. Ha <laughs> ha! 
Now, the river is the ace of clubs, and I'm pretty sure I'm good at this point. I'm just going to check this river and see if one of these players has the audacity to try to steal my pot. Let's see what happens. Middle position goes all in for $135, and now the button is in the tank. Now in this spot, I'm just praying that the button makes a call because I'm positive that I have him beat. The only player that could really have a nine in this spot is middle position. So hopefully the button calls so I can jam over the top and at least win the side pot if middle position wakes up with a better hand than me. So when the button makes the call, I jam over the top for $360 so I can hopefully win the side pot. Like I said, I was positive that I had the button beat at this point of the hand. I put him on a hand like pocket queens or pocket jacks when he three bet pre-flop and check the flop on the button. So let's see what he does. That's so sick, pocket seven? Nice yeah. hand, shorty. I was trying to get the side pot. I called him. You should be the first to show. Nah, I, call, I called, called him. him. You're good, I only got a seven. Oh. I was gonna say ace is good, but I thought you had seven. I knew an ace was good. Thought I, was, I thought I was losing to Shorty and I thought I was gonna get the side pop for him. Nah, bro, you scoop. I knew you were shooting with an ace. I know you have, I know an ace is good. So the button folds and we end up taking this one down when middle position says that he only had a seven. And can you guys hear Scotty nonstop talking in the background? I mean, you would think the brick he has on his head will make him shut the hell up. But you can still hear him mumbling nonstop through the helmet. Someone get this man a muzzle for God's sake. Damn. I had the king nine ball. So I knew everyone was full of shit. <laughs> I knew everyone was full of shit. That hand, boy. <laughs> no one cares what you had, helmet head. Floor, can we get a muzzle for helmet head in seat seven, please? Next hand. I started recording late on accident in the next hand when I looked down at queen seven of spades in middle position. The only thing that you guys have missed so far is that there's been a raise to $15 and we're headed seven ways to the flop. The flop comes a six jack, all spades. So we flop the second nut flush. And when the small blind leaves for $3 and the big blind calls the $3, I decide to just call and pray that one of the players that still left the act behind me decides to make a real bet so I can raise. But unfortunately, no one takes the bait and we had six ways to the turn. That didn't work. Check. Oh shit, I thought he had cards. Now the turn is a six of diamonds, and that pairs the board. But I'm not really worried about that, because I don't think these players would have let a $3 bet be enough of a bet on the flop if they had two pair or better on the flop. So when it gets checked to me on the turn, I decide to bet $35 and try to start to build this pot. Raise it. 75 now. When two players call my $35 bet, Mr. $3 in the small blind decides to raise it up to $75. I call for $40 more along with the other two players behind me and we go four ways to the river. Babe! Four players to the river. Oh. 
The river is the five of spades, and the small blind snap jams all in for his remaining $322. I snap fold my queen high flush, and then I show Neil Armstrong what I had. Let's see how the rest of this hand plays out. Jack six, man. Oh. Ain't six. Show the boat, bro. I know it's a boat. I know it. Six, six, seven, 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 I saved so much money, bro. No, if you raise the flop, he folds. No, he's not. That's the point. He's never folded. He never folded. I led the flop. What are you I, talking I about? I double him up. You check the flop. Hey, I bet $3. Hey, shorty. Shorty sure yeah. ain't never folded nothing, queen, bro. Queen I flush. Yeah. Come back up. Let me know how much for you, little please. He's a Hollywood and everything, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I literally lost the minimum. Oh, shit. Behind the he ain't folding two pair on that flop. No, that's why I let brush, it. Eight hundred. It ain't, it ain't big. In the next hand, I look down at Ace King off under the gun, and this is always a weird spot for me. Do you guys always raise your Ace King off under the gun, or do you limp re-raise sometimes? Put it in the comments below. What I do normally depends on the game flow and who's at the table with me, but this time. I decided to limp the $3 big blind. The guy to my left with the motorcycle gloves folds and then under the gun plus two raises it up to $25. It folds to the button and he bumps it up to $75. It gets folded back to me and here in early position with Ace King, some of the times I would re-raise, but in this case, I decide to flat for a couple of reasons. One being that the initial raiser is a tighter player and this is his first time raising all night. And two, being that the player on the button is a very loose player who could have anything. So I decided to just car here with Ace King in the small blind and keep all of the button's weaker hands from folding. My goal in his hand is to try to get the button to make a mistake and bluff off his stack as long as under the gun plus two doesn't rejam all in. He ends up just making the call as well, and we go three ways to a flop. Table ain't loose enough for me to play any two cards, bro. I want action. Oh, we got people start giving action. I'll start giving action. Yeah, action down here. Let's play the Nick game. Let's play the Nick game. Let's play the Nick game. The Nick game is when you be folding everything. Let's play the Nick game. You wanna play it? If everyone agrees, that we we can get it going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. But they play a. How much you pay at the end though? Twenty-five. Fifteen to everybody. To everybody, no, if you I'm lose. Cool with that. Shit, I'm in every hand anyway. I'm motherfucking 100%. I'll play if everybody's in. I'm, I'm good with that. Uh, you see how it's so quiet? You know what I'm saying? You see what, you see what I'm saying? They ain't ready for that. They are not ready for that, bro. You gotta be, you gotta be, a, you gotta be built a certain way, bro. Play the stand-up game. Everybody stand up, man. Let's we'll do it. All this, all this, se all this seven dudes game. The flop gets checked around along with the turn until it gets to the button and he decides to bet $100 on his turn card. Now what is he trying to say he has that he wouldn't have bet on the flop in position? Anyways, I don't believe him. So I called $100 under the gun plus two folds and we go heads up to the river. The river is the king of diamonds, and I'm sure I have the best hand at this point. If my read was correct on the turn, then I should still be ahead. I decide to put out a bet of $125 to potentially induce a bluff or get a worse king to make the call. Let's see what happens. Just flop queen, Jack, huh? Call. 
King. I knew he had to say it. I knew it. I knew it. You knew he had to fucking say it to me. Fuck. You should have bet that shit harder. You check the flop. I knew you had the same hand. Fuck. You put me on Ace King stop. Yes, bro. <laughs> You're allowed to have it. That's bottom of my range. You're allowed to have it. If you go all in, you go. I thought about, I thought about raising it. If you go all in, it's my fault, bro. Nah, I had to read. Nah, you gotta fall. I had to read. Thing. Either I was, either we was chopping, or I was a hit. That's why I call. Why I call it Ace High? Hundred dollars. <laughs> Jack Jack 3 3, no suits, and the $6 straddle is limped all the way around in the reverse button Omaha hand. Let's see a flop. Hey, players. Hell no, nah, put him on this table. <laughs> the flop comes Ace Jack 4 with two spades. And when the action gets checked to me, I decide to bet the pot for $50 here with the second nuts. A player in early position makes the call and then the low jack goes all in for $115. The high jack then rejams all in for $204. And now it's back to me. I'm sure I have the best hand right now, but this was not the plan. I just wanted a little pot builder for $50 with the best hand on the flop. I didn't necessarily want to push the variance like this with all these draws on the board. But I didn't bet $50 to fold to a couple of players who were on draws. So I called the $204. I guess I need to fade spades and straight cards. Let's see if I can hold. No spade. So All in again. Fuck, I'm so screwed. <laughs> I'm so screwed. And I got a bad feeling about this. I didn't like the heat shell, and I don't like that he got the most chips. I call whatever it is. Call. Let me get your number. Fuck me, man. It's 204. This game is so stupid. All right, no more action, gentlemen. Pulling the 115. I believe it's 115. Yep, 115 here in the main pot. I got a blocker. <laughs> the great game, man. Called the great game for a reason. 10 out over here. It's the great game. Yeah, 75. Oh, yeah, we're good. All right, Berto here for this. You too. And for both. No more action. To the turn we go. Oh, River now. That's not good. God. Outside damn. pot, you two. Come on, bro. King hot. Flush. Look at this shit, man. Garbage, bro. What are they shoving? All right, let's play drawing the foot draw. I can't I mean, Look at that shit, bro. Oh, man. So our flop middle set lost to the flush draw with the gutter ball. My main problem with his shove is that he was only $6 invested. So why risk your whole stack on a flush draw when you're only in for $6? He said that he had a straight draw to go with it, but he in fact only had a gutter ball, which is a big difference. But as you all can see, I'm whining about the loss to Scotty. But enjoy the rest of this clip, because you're about to see Peak whining for me while I'm staring at the ceiling complaining. I honestly didn't know I was capable of whining like this until I watched back this clip. <laughs> Hey, you had a three too? Yeah, I had you fucking jacks. I know you had a jack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any, any, anything. I hate uh, that. Uh, but it's going to be. Get it in bad. They got so many outside. All right, thank you, David. See. You're going to bring me good luck. Oh, I got you. Everybody was got me, bro. I mean, I had the best hand when I showed up. I had three nice cards. If I see the turn, I have a flush blocker here. I have two spaces. Spades are super dead if you had a flush draw, too. If you had a flush draw, too. Spades are dead as fuck. Yeah, great hand. That is so sick, bro. Yeah, you nice. don't play hand for $6, man. Yeah, yeah, it's straight, bro. That's a goddamn up. good shot. You raise, I re raise. My goal. Me? I can't raise it then. I definitely believe you was raising On a flop? Wait, on a pre flop? Nah. I ain't have no suits or nothing. Oh, you just flopped it. Happened. This is a Badoogie? Uh huh. Badoogie? Jack Jack 3 3, no suits. Yup. Uh -huh. On here.
And the last interesting hand from me of the day, I looked down at the exact same ace king off in early position as I did earlier. I again decide to limp and go for the good old limp re-raise. Let's argue about it in the comment section if you like. But anyway, it gets to the small blind and he raises it up to $20. When the big blind calls the $20, I decide to 3 bet to $95. The small blind then goes all in when it gets back to him. And then the big blind then rejams all in for $235. I call the $235 and we go three ways to a run out. Oh, oh no, not them, bro. You get third, though, right? Randy got pocket ace over there. One third. Uh, One third coming into the middle. Good, see? You got your money back from uh, prize picks. Yeah, I know, right? You lose to them three? I'm going to put a lot of them in there. Get rich or get high down. Hiya, nuts. Thank you. All right. Outside. I got his And two flush block blockers. Oh, 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 Wow, Shorty, you trying to... Wow. I'm bad, bro. I didn't see your blood. Hey, no, well, I thought my ace was better, too. So we take down that three-way flip, but we're not surprised because Jeanette was in the box. Shout out my favorite dealer. And no, I didn't know I had the nut flush. I was so focused on the ace that everyone at the table knew I had a flush except for me. But we take this pot down. Now let's check in on Scotty. He's been running bad, and his neck hurts from that big-ass helmet. So let's see how he's holding up. Oh shit, y'all. Scotty's pulling hundreds out of his pockets and he looks pissed. Let's check in on him and see what's going on. <laughs> You're a fucking loser. He was close. How much? One thousand. You picked the deuce. Got those done? All right. Fresh one thousand. All right. I'm holding on. It's on him. Two coke. No. People want to update, Scotty. What's been up? Nine. You can't fold it. That's when the pot's there. That's what it felt like. I got to stop recording. Really? I run like shit when I record. Yeah. Bad. That's how it was. You got to get the first couple episodes out of it. Good night, Huh? I'm ready to go broke. So it don't matter. I'm willing to go broke in this game right now at this point. Fuck it. Bro, I swear I ran bad the first. How many? The first. Five, six. Ooh, I, I think like the first six, the first like three vlog. I didn't, I didn't win a, a vlog until like the fifth one. So as you guys heard, Scotty's still learning about that beginning poker vlogger run bad I see. But you guys heard the man. Fuck it. He's willing to go broke in this game at this point. Up, oh, gotta go. Let's get to the next clip. Scotty is in a pot that's over $4,500. Let's see what's going on. The man said pot. Ryan, give your brother that good energy, man. Come on, you gotta rub his helmet. Please win, please win. Hey, Ryan, say what's up to the vlog. Wins these. Right. Oh yeah, for sure. Omaha, yeah. For sure. All right, Travis. If we win this one, you get to get paid. Oh, if you God. don't, <laughs> then I'm sorry. Oh, I need this. Bingo, right? I got 90 for G. There too? I got 75. 90. Are you all in? 90. I just called, bro. I don't know what happened. 80, 85, 90. And then 90. All right, nine. All right. <laughs> and the next is going to be Marcus. 29. No, 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 no. no you don't like that? 
Okay. 129. Come on, Scotty. One time. 129. This is definitely making them dog. I ain't even in this shit. Hey, whether I would have lose. All right. Come on, Magic Helmet. Come on. It's gonna be yours. Come on, Magic Fit. One time, Magic Fit. Y'all want to pull the side back? I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. I'm killing this bike. Oh, you going home. One, two, three, four. Come on. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this thing. Yeah, that's right. 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 Yeah,
Only if I don't have aces, I got like some kind of royal double suited. Like, uh, you had the eight, I wouldn't have had the eight in me. I would have had like no, I had the ace king queen three. Queen three. Mm-hmm. Ace, ace king queen three double queen, suited. Three. Yeah, that three, I wouldn't have had that three. But when they're all gambling, it's, I'm taking that spot all day. I want a pair in that spot. Like, like even when the four hit, like, you backdoor into two pair, and sometimes that shit is good because he ain't going to hit that set of eights. Yeah, yeah, I get you. I get you. I got it. I don't know. That shit. That was, a, that was a rough one. But I'll take, like I said, I'll take that spot all Omaha's day. Omaha's a sick game, bro. I'll take that one That game day. is stupid. But, yeah. yeah. I mean, you run that 100 times, you, you yeah. win more than not. Yeah, so. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah, taking that all day. Sometimes it is what it is. You know? Hey guys, it's Valdez checking in. And in the moment, I was trying to make my friend feel better, but now it's time to give my actual opinion on that hand. In the moment, I said if he ran that hand a hundred times, he wins more than not, but I don't actually believe that. I think that hand he had actually loses more than not. But anyway, back to the outro. You gave me, hey, I got my, I, I've been, I've been editing and filming, so, hey, you got, I, I got out of there with my little quick W, <laughs> that was a quick little 500, so I ain't, I ain't, I ain't complaining, but yeah, that's poker, we showing y'all the ups and downs of poker, that's what it is, y'all, hopefully, by the time y'all see this, because I'm not playing, I'm editing for y'all, so hopefully, Scotty been posting by then, because, I got, I, my edit's in the work, it's in the work, hey, it's on the work, so, you know, hey, you want to, take him out, tell him, tell him. We out. We Scotty out. Scotty underscore gambles. Yeah. Follow. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Yep. Till next time. Later. Y'all take care. Now, solo outro. Okay, so we were in for $500. We were out for $1,021. So we made, I think, $521. Quick session, as y'all saw what happened. I'm really loving these glasses. Like, I've had them for a while, but I finally got the clear lenses. And, like, they work perfect. Like, this angle, this camera angle, is so underrated. I love it. Hopefully, I'm going to check the footage tonight. Hopefully, y'all can still see my eyes. But God, he's a man of his word. Even though he didn't finish the five hours, I understood he lost a lot of money. That's a W. Shoot, we only played two, a little over two hours. $500. That's a W. Like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Really appreciate you guys. Where should I play next? Y'all yeah, put it in the comments. Where should I play next? I'm trying to move around. Preferably no raid games uh, i'd rather like i'd rather pay time i'm sorry i don't like i like when the money stays on the table i don't like when you i don't like when they rake money off the table like my preference is to keep the money on the table so that's why i like paying time so anywhere you know in the houston area for now or immediate like around the houston area that that you can pay time and they'll let me film put it in the comment section or my email is in the description, or you can also, uh, or you can also DM me on Instagram and get in contact with me on th uh, that way. If you or anyone you know is the owner or manager of a poker house, and y'all want me to come through, y'all want mommy coming through, then reach out to me. All right, y'all, take care. Thank you so much for watching. So the button folds, and we end up taking this one down. The middle position says that he only had a seven. And can you guys hear Scotty nonstop talking in the background? I mean, you would think the brick he has on his head would make him shut the hell up. But you can still hear him mumbling nonstop through the helmet. Someone get this man a muzzle for God's sake. Damn. Yeah, that's, that's good. We'll keep that one. Yeah.